Yo, what is going on guys? It is Uncle Kobe and welcome back to my latest installment of my Black Ops 2 pre-release weapon guide series where we go through all the weapons in a certain class and talk about some of the strengths and weaknesses that they may have by looking at the weapon stats. However, like I always say, the stats only tell half the story when it comes to Call of Duty weapons. But first off, I just want to apologize for not making this video yesterday. I'm just crazy busy with school midterms right now. I've been pretty good at managing my school, my jobs, and my YouTube, but this week has just been crazy, and procrastination actually has a lot to do with that. But yeah, I most likely will not be able to upload a video till Friday. As much as I hate it, school does come first, and I'm sure you guys can understand that, but whatever, it is what it is. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the snipers, and overall, they look much better in Black Ops 2. In Black Ops 1, the snipers just didn't look that cool. From strictly aesthetic standpoint, they just were not doing it for me, and I know that look of them has nothing to do with how they perform, but to me it matters. If a gun really looks ugly and sounds terrible, I won't use it. Now that's just how it is with the Type 95 and MW3. Personally, I just hate how it looks and it just sounds so annoying. That's just my opinion, but that's why I never use it, even though it is a really good gun. But so far, I don't see any problems with the snipers in Black Ops 2. Uh, they actually all look pretty badass. So starting off with the Ballista, this is obviously going to be a very popular sniper rifle due to the ability to be equipped without a scope. Here's a clip of Nade Shop doing absolute work with it, and I'm pretty sure all the Optic and Phase guys out there are going to do some pretty insane stuff with this weapon. So taking a look at its stats, this is probably the most balanced out of all the sniper rifles. It has a 16 point mobility, which is true for all the snipers, as well as the SMGs and shotguns, which I think is interesting because I'm guessing Treyarch wants to encourage snipers to actually move around the map more and not sit still. Uh, but I could see that being nerfed in the future. But anyways, it has a 15 point damage and range and a 16 point accuracy. But what I think are the biggest giveaways for all the snipers is actually in the descriptions. This one reads bolt action sniper rifle deadly from the chest up. So obviously this means from about halfway up the torso and higher it will be a one shot kill. For those of you thinking that the chest and higher is a little too difficult for you to get one shot kills with, the ballista does have the best accuracy and you saw that in Nade Shot's clip. But moving on we have the SVU AS which is a semi-automatic sniper rifle with a high rate of fire and low recoil. So this is obviously going to be the spray and pray sniper rifle most effective in hardcore game modes or in regular if you have a fast trigger finger. As you can see it does not mention deadly from anywhere in the description so you'd have to assume it is going to be a two shot kill unless of course you shoot him in the head and get a headshot multiplier. Personally I've never been a fan of semi-auto snipers but I do hope this is better than the Dragonov in MW3 because that gun just stunk. From the sound, to the look, to the damage, it all just sucked. But as far as I can tell, if you're going to be using a semi-automatic sniper, this is the one to use. It has a 14 point damage and range and a 15 point accuracy, which is not bad at all. But like I said before, it will most likely be used more often in hardcore. Next on the list is the DSR-50, which is another bolt action sniper rifle, but this time it is deadly from the waist up, so obviously this one shot kill range is a little larger, and uh, I'm curious if the bicep area or the arms in general will be one shot kills or not, uh, but this gun stats do look pretty sweet, it has 16s across mobility, damage, and range, but has a slight drop off with a 14 point accuracy, but even with that I do think this will be the best sniper rifle, just because the fact you will be getting more one shot kills with it, and you know that's what you usually go for when you're using a sniper. For noobs like me, you might want to stick with the Ballista because of its accuracy, but if you know what you're doing and are going for those kill feeds, you'll probably want to go with the DSR. So last up is the XPR-50. Uh, this is another semi-automatic sniper with a 14 point range, 12 point accuracy, and a 15 point damage, which of course is the same as the Ballista. And if you look at the description, it reads deadly from the chest up, like the Ballista as well, which at first glance is alarming because it is a semi-automatic weapon with one-shot kill capabilities, but Treyarch obviously knows what they are doing because compared to the SVU, they lowered the range, accuracy, and fire rate and increased the recoil, which is important because you don't want to get sprayed down across the map from some little kid with a modded controller or anything like that. So it does look like this gun will be effective in normal game modes as well, as long as you pick your shots wisely. What I mean by that, at long range you're going to want to act as if it is a bolt action and really line up your shot before you take it, but maybe from medium ranges you can utilize its semi-automatic ability. However, I do hope the hipfire spread is pretty big and unpredictable, and that goes with all the sniper rifles, so when you do get those sick no-scope clips, they are even more amazing. So that wraps up this video on the Black Ops 2 sniper rifles. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please take the time to leave a like. You guys have been awesome in the ratings for every video I post, and it really is encouraging. Like I said earlier, I'm completely slammed with school at the moment, so my next video will most likely be out Friday, which gives you some time to check out some of my older videos, which is awesome. But thank you guys again for watching. Check out either of the videos on screen if you wish. This was Uncle Kobe. I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.